real team effort at the end. Everybody Me. had their moments. Everybody had their moments. But yeah. Zipnix is, you know, a very scary B side player. He can handle that yeah. no problem at all. Uh, you know, Kerrigan getting into that mid area, he can certainly be have an impact, uh, be that rotation guy. You know, they, they've really got this map figured out, question mark. And so the question is whether, obviously, Navi can actually, you know, suss out what they need to do and figure out a game plan here. Zipnix, he's going to just get that smoke down, and I like this. You know, just, just get in there a little bit, apply, apply some pressure, make sure that if Navi are waiting over here on the other side in the B-Halls, that they're not feeling too comfortable. Oh, that's so close to Dupree. He can't get the shot on Flame Mills Crouch. He's actually behind a wall, but... Um Edward walking forward could have been dead. The thing is, Sipnix has a, a flashbang here. So if they try and go for it, he pops that flash right. Then the push is going to be sort of uh, disjointed a little bit. There's the flash out. They slow down just a bit. Dupree in a bad spot, and he ends up dropping. Sipnix shot down. That was mid-air from Edward. Maybe his feet touched the ground when he got that headshot. He's going to go for a bit more, but that might have been too much. Kerrigan and Cajun with a kill each, and that brings it into a three-on-three. -three. Bomb being planted and ticking away inside that bomb site. And there must have been a few skits somewhere on the ground. A second headshot from Cajun. And now Guardian and Seas, they've got to keep their cool here. Otherwise, they can end up losing this round. Third headshot from Cajun, and that's going to leave Seas alone up in the apartment. He's trapped in the corner. He can't get out. Device is going to take him down. There'll be time even without the kit for the defuse here. So big comeback into this round for question mark. I mean, what went wrong there, Samla? Uh, Ed Navi threw it away. They got ahead of themselves. And, and it might come back to that point that was made on the desk. The fact that there are an additional five seconds uh, to play this bomb, that you have more time as a CT side. And I, maybe Navi just, you know, Edward was so fired up. He hit such a crazy shot on Zipnix. I mean, they just charged in to try and really crush question mark. And it completely backfired. Cajun B just shuts Edward down and just completely proceeds to wreck his team. So, I yeah, Navi getting a little too fat, a little too ahead of themselves there, and that complete shift, right? When it's like all of a sudden just a three on three, and they're like, "Wait a second, we got to fight again, guys." They just couldn't get their heads back in the game. Question mark just strangled them out of it. I do like this spy from Navi though. Four deagles and a scout. Now question mark. I mean, this is something that we've been criticizing uh, a lot of teams of lately is that they keep facing the deagles. They keep wanting to fight, and it doesn't always work out too well. Case in point, Seuss opening up with a shot. Edward, though, going to get taken out by Kerrigan. Seuss finding a second kill before he goes down. And C's left alone with the scout and the bomb all the way in T spawn. But look how low Kerrigan is. I mean, yeah. these are the sort of rounds that can really get out of control. I'd kind of rather have him in the middle right now and have somebody else that's got a little bit more HP on the A site. And they are actually going to play it safe and rotate back towards that CT spawn. So that should be Dupree making his way there with the P90. Not a, gun, not a bad gun to have. Especially considering Seized has to get up onto that bomb site, right? So if he plants CT, he's going to be in for a real sad time. And unfortunately, he's not finding anybody, and um, he's not finding anybody he can connect there. I wonder if Kerrigan was close enough to hear that gun get dropped there, because that would have been a good Ke indicator. Kerrigan in yeah. the middle. Rotation sounds like a, sounds like a ninety sitcom. Yeah, rotation from Zipnik instantly. Zipnik's rather instantly as soon as he hears that sound. So they do come back over towards jungle. Kerrigan wanting to make sure that they double up in case Seized wanted to take the fight by murder hole. But Seized is going for the long con here, Anders, because yeah. much like the bomb having more time. There's 10 seconds in this round extra as well, and so it just feels so long now. Like, Seized has all day to go for this play. I mean, a bomb plant right now would be pretty big, right? Two kills on a bomb plant in a round like this, considering he's in a 1v3, definitely be a, a big result. But Sip is just so close. This is very smart play, obviously. Not going to be a bomb plant. Instantly goes down, and that was with the P, uh, sorry, MP9 as well, so it's a little bit more money, and he picks up it from us, so sort of getting the most out of the situation, really. Yeah, it's a good uh, good second round here from a question mark. Surviving the Deagle scare. Yeah, Dupree, that was, uh, it was definitely a scare as well because I thought that Dupree was going to be too late coming in uh, from ladder room into mid window. Because Navi, they all wrapped right up into connector. But because he actually he was like a second too late, but then it was just right because he gets one kill that forces the guy in connector to turn around and then Kerrigan peeks him. And it all just kind of fell into place nicely for question mark. So ideal situation there for them. 2-0 lead here for question mark and Navi back to a pretty much a hard eco here investing in some deagles tech nines That's it, but no nades to work with so getting the bomb down in this kind of situation is so difficult They, just, they actually kind of need like the luck of the draw of the draw here headshot with the deagle something something that'll work out for him And well, that that'll do it guardian nice shot, but then a great nade from Cajun touchdown, baby And that's super important. I mean they've lost uh, they still traded two for one here So it's a little bit questionable for uh, the Danish side. I mean should have been able to got a lot more out of that situation. I love the fact that Seize just playing this one patiently. If they decide to try and come through here, that might be a great kill. Zipnik's kind of fumbling a flash nade there. Just trying to keep the pressure up right now. Cajun beat. Not going to spot the man going past onto Tetris. So Guardian's going to be a little bit closer, but he does spot Edward. And so now there's the info. 
No question mark. He did spot the bomb, but that plant sound, boom, that's all they need to know. And the instant rotation is going to come out from Dupree, but it's going to be so very late. And Cajun just decides to take the fight to him. Sip there to follow it up. And that's going to leave Seized. One on a three, jumping down. I think that sound was heard. Dupree's right behind with the P90. Seized is definitely gone. So they managed to hold on to the situation. There's a lot more focus on the Danish side here. You can tell that they are that sort of the the, the, the wheels are really really turning on this uh, on this vehicle right now. All the cogs are, uh, are functioning. This are is engaged, uh, yeah. this is this is a different team that we saw on Dust Two, and it's the uh, it's a different team that we saw from the beginning of of even Overpass. It's taken quite a while. 3-0, and now now we have rifles, including that AWP on Guardian, and he is already making his way into the middle. Yeah, looking for that initial shot. Edward was there to back it for him as well, basically, to bait for him. Edward goes for the peak. Guardian peeks behind him, takes out whoever is there for a uh, question mark, but instead it's going to be Kerrigan. And oh, peekaboo! Dupree doesn't get the kill, though. What a fumble! He had Zeus dead to rights. That could have been the big opening, but instead, Navi, they get a lucky break there. And there was a grenade follow-up there from Kerrigan and actually dropped Zeus down to 19, so... Yeah, and that's a bit of a shame. Would have been a really big opening if that could have gone through. That was huge. You kill Zeus in that kind of situation, then you don't, like, yeah. Underpass, maybe, you know, you hope that Guardian is able to bring it back. Guardian has managed to get himself into a bit of a tricky spot here, though, up in ladder room. But Kerrigan's no longer there to challenge him, and so he's not really going to get too much out of it. I think Dupree's heard the stomping. He heard that somebody was close by. So he knows, and yeah, he should be. He hears the clicking of the yeah. op as well, the, the scoping there. So they know that Guardi where Guardian is, at least. Ooh, device to the aggressive play. This has actually been a constant across all the maps on the CT side for question mark. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, initiative that they keep taking to actually get some information? On Dust2, the timing seemed to be always off, which was actually really painful to watch. But um, we'll see if it's going to be a bit better this time. It could be. There's still 35 seconds left. If Device is here within the next 10 seconds, then it might just work out all right. The rest of the team is stacked up in this bomb site. This is not too bad. Two kills going into it, and Flamey and Sutha are low and, low and healthier. This is a four versus three, but it's not going now. This way, they're running out of time, and they're also getting stabbed in the back. Flamey gonna go down and seized up there, out of time and out of health as well. Zeus, he can't do anything to help his team. This would be a great position if the bomb was down, and we're talking about a retake, but it, it's not gonna happen. That was that was great play from Question Mark. Yeah, and I like how that Mix doesn't even need his teammates help. You know, like Device. That's so frustrating. It's so it's so slow when you push through T spawn, through apartments, or through pit. Right, you're going up into T spawn because if somebody's waiting top mid. They can hear your steps, right? And it gives it all away. So you have to walk the whole way, and it's just agonizing. And then, you know, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll get a backstab eventually, right? And it's like, nah, bro, we don't, we don't actually need you here. The B defense, we good. We're solid. So that's, that's perfect for question mark. They just got over the second hurdle after the pistol round. They managed to get that first buy round locked down. And they actually do it with quite a few people alive at the end of the round as well. So the money's going to be looking pretty good here for the Danes. Prompts Navi to have to go for one of their, well, basically it's going to be one of their default kind of strategies. Uh, get the smokes down and just cross your fingers, get a plant. That's all they're looking for at this point. It's not going to be too easy. If Device wins the fight against Seuss, then getting that bomb plant down is, is going to be tough, I think. Yeah, this is, this is going to come down to Cajun, I think. There's the smoke going down. That might be a tell for Zeus. There was no bank, so Zeus might know that somebody's up close on the balcony. It's going to come down to the timing here for Cajun with the flash. There's one. Can he get another one out? Is there another one to put through? No, Zeus gets the vice, but it is going to be Kerrigan here with the AWP up on stairs, having an impact, and Cajun behind the firebox, doing damage. Kerrigan finally hitting that shot. No scope, not going to connect, but he survives on one health. He's still got the op out. He's up in the corner, and he's going to wait for backup, but he can't make it out. Guardian picking up a second shot. Bomb goes down. Two tech lines still in play. Kind of wish Guardian could have picked up that AWP, but it's not going to be the case. And now that the bomb is down, Sitmix is going to be taking down Seized, and Guardian... He only has the tech line. He's without armor. This is a very bad position. They even have a Molotov. Well, if they realize where he is, they can just sew him up with that. I think they should. I mean, they've checked apartments. They know that he's not playing from there. They've gone through Link. Headshot on his Zipnix. That's going to put some pressure on. But Dupree, he's got that incendiary. He can just chuck it down, force Guardian to commit. And yeah, Guardian, there isn't a whole lot that he can do. He's hoping to be able to find an angle here to probably deny this bomb plant. If he kills Zipnix, he can do it. And oh, no, just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time, Dupree gets the defuse. And he can't save the op either. They have the money for the buy, question mark. It's not going to be a problem, but saving 47.50, that would have been a big play there. Just, you, you saw it. It was like a train crash. I mean, or a train crash, I don't know, car crash, whatever. You can't look away. You know, you see it coming. 
<laughs> the Vice with that smoke yeah. right in front of Zeus. Zeus knew exactly where the Vice was playing from, so the element of surprise that Question Mark were counting on if they yeah. tried to push through Pit was gone. They knew exactly where the Vice was playing from. Oh, I love this, though. Double push to up, up a middle there. Grenade might have given it away, though. Guardian, he has an inkling that something's wrong, but a great flashbang in. Edward's gone. Guardian in an awful position, and he goes down. It's the pre, it's the Vice. It's the one-two punch there, mm -hmm. and that's going to give such a big lead here for Question Mark. And around where now be, they finally got They got the bomb plant last round, so they have the money to buy. But they're not getting anything out of it yet. Oh, there's the flash. It is actually effective. Yeah, that's got to be so frustrating, so frustrating rather for Navi as well, because the bomb was back in T spawn. They didn't have any way to push forward when there's three guys in mid. You're like, okay, we'll hit a site if we can, right? But they weren't in position for it. They went for a default play, so they were all spread out across the map. No way to counter and get back into it. And now they have to do it the hard way, where they're down two men and they're low on the nades. They only have a single smoke on Zeus. It's gonna have to be headshots here, Anders. And well, I mean, Flamey's been getting a few of them on overpass at least. He woke up, but Edward is dead right now. Well, I guess if you just kind of like go for the peak occasion, that's that's not going to help. Yeah, you pointed out Flamey and he delivered. Could he yeah. do it again and maybe four times more? I mean, this is uh, it's going to be tough right now. They've got very limited time as well. 30 seconds here. The bomb just now being picked up in T-spawn. Yeah, we're, we're talking flawless execution the next 25 seconds. Otherwise, this is not going to work out. They need a quick kill on... Device who's holding in shadow and Carrigan already stopping it down. Grenade follow up here and Flamey. He's gonna get another headshot. He's doing a really admirable job, but I don't think it's enough at this point in time. They're gonna be too close. As soon as he tries to plant, he's gonna be out here. Fakes it once, Carrigan and then Dupree. That is... Wow, this is a one hell of a start here for question mark. Yeah, this is shaping up nicely. They saved the op as well. The money is going to be maintained pretty at a good level here for question mark, so they don't have to worry about ecoing. If they were to lose this round, they should be able to go for a full buy in the next one. It's Navi who have all the pressure on them at this point. And that's that's also just... I mean, we need to see that kind of play out of question mark right now as well if they're going to take this map. Those kinds of just, you know, all-out aggression, you know, courageous plays. Go into mid. Take the fight. Seek it out. Don't let Navi get comfortable. Those are the kind of plays that are necessary here for question mark to really, you know, lock out Navi, make it as difficult as possible for the CIS team. Well. 6-0. This is, this is nothing like the first map, obviously. A big change, and now we've got to be worried here. I mean, the crowd has gone home. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily willingly, but um, it's a tough tough situation uh, for Navi right now. Trying to see if they can get that mid control and they definitely will be able to here. Oh yes. They're, they're practically giving it. Like the, the question mark are not interested in challenging at this point. They're just solid, you know, just solidifying the defense on the A site. They've got Kerrigan ready to go A or B as necessary with the AWP. And they are pushing into B halls. This is it. 45 seconds. Last round, it was Car it was uh, Cajun rather taking the peek into pit to get the info for question mark. This time around, is Dupree pushing into B halls, other side of the map, and he's getting so much info right now for question mark. He's might he's working his way down into underpass as well. He's going to be right through into connector very quickly here. One problem is Edward is waiting for this sort of thing. He's going to be up in ladder room, and so Dupree might not be able to get too much out of it. Well, Molotov there, but Flame he never go down. Zeus is going to fall as well. One on two. 20 seconds left, and the bomb here on Seized. Not going to make it out. Double kill for Dupree. This is this is brutal, Semler. But the other way. But Question Mark are playing the game now. They're, they're, they're figuring it out. They're starting to hit their timings again. Now when you can start to see the pattern, like this is, they're starting to get back to the basics where it's like, okay, we have just enough time left on this clock. Somebody push, get some info. Okay, and, and you see it how it works out there. Dupree, he works his way all the way down into mid. Question Mark, they're set up. They're ready for Navi. Yeah, they take a lot of damage. I mean, three guys die, but they get the round. That's the important bit. And Device even going to set up for a little, he can actually peek onto Seized here over that smoking connector. Well, shot there from Cajun to take down Edward. Navi, they need to get around on the board. It has to be right now, and there's a good shot from Flamey. Dropping Cajun, in spite of the fact that he was halfway flashed. Seize playing at the edge and dropping Dupree as well. And now they're trading favorably, even doing a little bit of damage onto the vice here. If they can just get that bomb down, this might be the first time on this map where they get a real chance. Flamey to drop as well. A little bit of an assist from Dupree somehow. Kerrigan and Sip are left, and it's two on three. Bomb is going to be planted. They cannot stop it. 
And Navi only have one flash to buy time, and it just went out as well. Spray through, Cardian almost going down, he's gonna try again! Oh, Sipnix is so close, but he's not quite connecting. <laughs> Still wants to go for it. There's Zeus dropping and Guardian, nice headshot up on the box and Carrie gonna go down. There it is, Na'Vi making it 7-1. Finally, they get something. Guardian is unreal, dude. What was that? You're gonna jump up and challenge on Tetris with two HP? Yeah. I, how does that even work? This is the last round where Dupree was able to just lock it down. Ah, okay, and wow, Na'Vi win a round and they call for the tactical pause. That's interesting. Interesting decision here on their part. They really need this. Well, I mean, they really need, they desperately need this follow-up round because it yeah. was so expensive in the last one. They're not going to have much money. If they lose it, they're back into like that pistol hell where they're not. They're never going to have just a much, you know, as much money as necessary. Edward's Edwin, got one kill as well. Yeah, he's completely dropped off, hasn't he? So he used all of his superpowers early on in this best of three. On the first two maps, right? But yeah. This is the you know, that's that that should be fine as well, right? You know, it's just like. You go ham on two maps, you know, you've done your work, right? You, you got to get the, you know, somebody else on the team has to step up at this point. And it looks like at least in that round it was flamey. Because, okay, he got a bit of a, luck, a lucky draw there yeah. because he was full flashed and Cajun goes into the peak. Flamey holds down mouse one, crosses his fingers in hopes that he lives, basically. And Cajun takes an AK bullet to the face, right? So he has that going for him. But then to just aggressively take over stairs, get the kill there. I mean, Flamey is doing a lot here for Na'Vi. You know, I keep getting tweets from people saying that, 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 you know, device is now Deva. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's true. I I think I I think of that more as like he he submitted a sort of a name change request and we denied it. You know, <laughs> it's more like that. It's more like a request. You know, but so we can have I change to no. And we have to you know respect it, right? Do you know you know if you go on HL TV every once in a while you see people typing eons. Mm -hmm. You know how that meme started. I th I believe <laughs> I think what happened is. Um, some guy came on the forums and I was like, I'm kind of tied up my name, Eons, can I, what do you guys think, like what should I change it to? And everybody just typed Eons in return. That's kind of, that's kind of what's happened to Device here. You it's like, I'm kind of sick of my nickname, can I change it? No, nah, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of calling Device still. Device so. is so much better as well, sorry Dev, I mean, come on. Yeah, Dev uh, with the five, uh, no dude, Device with the five kill, yeah, that's, that's, I like that, I like the sound of that better. Well, Molotov into the middle to try and get some control. Usually a good way of doing it, especially if you have the smoke into window as well. Edward playing close to the ramp here on a bomb site. Nine rounds in, and if they lose this one, Navi, it's going to be hell from here on out for the uh, home team. Flamey pushing in. He's so good with these entries. It's another headshot, and it's Dupree going down as well. Sip to fall, Cajun in the corner. And look at this. They're actually bringing it back a little bit. Carrigan, device with a couple of kills there, but device very low on health, and it's a 2 on 3 The bomb is over at B, though. And if Kerrigan stays here, can he get the bomb? Can he catch him? No, he can't. Oh, the timing, though. If he'd have been two seconds earlier, he would have caught Guardian running, and that would have completely changed the round. Now, instead, it's Guardian. He's rotating back. They're going for the mind games here. Now, Navi, oh. they, I mean, question mark are thinking they're going to go over to A site. We have control of A site, right? We only have to worry about the vice, and he's up in apartments. We got him boxed in. No, Navi, they're one step ahead. They're going to take this bomb over to the B site. The one issue here is that, oh, Kerrigan's still alive. Uh, no. Oh! What? Oh well, not for long. But that was sick. What? I thought I just cursed him, Anders, but Carrie you know, doesn't that. give up. How does that work? Yeah, he's just gonna chill over here and have a little bit of a bit of a kip. Cardin has developed some serious paranoia in the meantime. I mean, obviously he can't know what we know, but I can I can understand why he would be a bit cautious here. That was pretty sick by Kerrigan. Gonna give him that. They were really expecting the A play, though. Catch the Guardian crossing. Kerrigan was in a good spot for it. And they plant the bomb within the time. This that isn't works. This isn't NAFPL. They, they understand. <laughs> I don't know, man. Flavie was having a little bit of a struggle with that on Overpass, just saying. <laughs> ah, can't Flavie go a whole day without taking shots in A, can we? Flavie follows simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just part of it right now, you know, Andrews, right? It's just like... I, I mean, even look at look at South America. I mean, that's the thing, you know. It's really it, you got to kick them while they're down, and <laughs> get them really pissed off, right? You know, and then they'll get back up again and start swinging. That's what we're hoping for. And hey, you know, it's not because we're we're mocking, you know, for nothing. It's we're, actually we're trying love. To get, yeah, it's actually love. It's tough love. We want you guys to come back. We need a, nor a North American team because well, right now South America is kicking ass. So <laughs> where is NA? It's gonna come. I for one believe somewhere. I know you do, Andrews. You're very much that, if we're going to have an Asian person, you know. team before that happens. 
I, at this point, with what, how Cybersen, I'm gonna, I, I really have to go back and watch those games again. But Cybersen, they had some really sick plays, according to G2. Yeah. Talk to, talk to G2. They're like, dude, we couldn't even, we didn't even know where we were getting flashed from. We were just white all the time. Like we couldn't see a damn thing. And that, that and talking with Thorin again, that's actually a trait, you know, for the Asian teams because what they do, they don't actually have competition, so they sit on servers and just refine their game, executes all yeah. these flashes. They have all these pop flashes, all these smoke executes, all, and, and, and it's just like really difficult to deal with. And so if those guys start getting active, it's going to get a lot. It's going to be really fun. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised to see an Asian team, you know, competing on a world scale by yeah, the end I mean, of the year. Sorin was talking about We Mate Fox, um, the, the 1.6 team. So, yeah, maybe that could be a thing. Device saving an AK from the last round, opening up with a long spray. For, but uh, Ends eventually got the kill on Edward. Some damage being dished out to Flamey as well. This is one of these, I mean, again, Navi, they only survived the last round with two members. They can't have, they can't afford to lose this round. Mm -hmm. they got to keep going. And right now, Two people here, a third one close by. But the big thing is Device with this AK is going to be jumping up. They line up. Oh no! Double headshot! Guardian and Seize! They're going to be gone! And Device triple kill in a round where the only rifle they have is this AK. And he's going for a bit more here. So it's going to be going down, Device. He's wrecking them. And now Flamey, the last man left. Device can't be an ace, surely. Not in a round where he's the only rifler on the team. 38 seconds here. And Flamey, he's got to be panicked right now. He's been composed all tournament long. But well, right now, it's got to be some beads of sweat on his forehead here. Flamey, he decides to just try and save the AWP and run away with it. But Carrigan, Carrigan says, no, Flamey, this is not going to be happening. His gun barrel is going to show when he comes around the corner first. And it should be a kill for Carrigan as well. What a round for Device. It's too predictable here. He's obviously not hearing this, Carrigan, but once he hears that smoke go down, if he does go for it, Flamey... Kerrigan is going to have to go for the peak eventually. Yeah, he's starting to get a little antsy. You see him moving. And there we go. Commits, goes for it, gets the kill. Saves an op and an eco round win for Device. Wow. Look at this. Uh, this is brutal. Boom. You see it coming from a mile away as well. It's just that like, was, no. Those were the first two bullets, by the way. Boom, boom. One, two. Uh, it's good to see Device. He does survive versus Zeus as well. And Zeus had the, he had the chance to turn it around there, but... He caved, and now, well, eight to two, and you think this is it, the end days, you know, question mark, they're having a eco, this is where Navi can really start getting some momentum going. No, it's Navi now who have to go for the hard eco on their side. And it could just keep getting a bit more painful here. They're getting real close to connector as well, they're gonna go for that peak, Kerrigan decides the timing isn't right, and he falls back. Oh, oh that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, First grenade was bad, second one as well, even worse, shooting through the wall. All right, he's just like, I'm not even going to play this game anymore. I'm done. So is Edward, so is Seuss, and Flamey getting shot in the back as well, I think, is going to be all over here. Everybody lives on the question mark side. On top of a round, that was an eco. They've got a lot of money to work with. They're also uh, seven rounds ahead currently of the Na'Vi team. This is a ct sided map, but not to this extent. I think Na'Vi, they do need to get up to like five rounds at least to stay competitive, preferably six, which would mean winning the next four in a row. Exactly. And it's, it is possible. If they win this round and win the next one, then question mark are going to be broke, and Na'Vi could run it back. They're definitely not out of this yet, Na'Vi. They've got the, the AWP on Guardian. They have some uh, well, a fairly decent aid count, so we have to see now. Can they actually force something here? Molotov goes down, but it's not perfect. Kerrigan still able to get an angle. Device, though. Random headshot from Edward, and then a follow-up bullet. Easy peasy. Baits out the shot. Knows exactly where Kerrigan's playing from now as well. And the smoke goes down to block off Kerrigan. He can't have an impact here. This is getting scary, Anders. Cajun B finally there to take out Zeus, who's trying to make his way out from Palace. And we're back into a four-on-four. And look who's flanking from behind. That's Dupree, and that is probably what's going to kill this round here. Unless they can get some really fast shots in. Cajun goes down as well. It's a two on four, but the fact is Dupree can easily get two kills here and turn it into a two on two. Let's see. Can they get the bomb down? Guardian, he's going to be denied. Oh, Dupree's missing it. They line up. No! They can't get the shot through. Dupree, that was a perfect opening. Carrigan going to go down. Explain it to me, Semler. How I can't. does it work? I can't. What happened? Device, oh man. Device, bullet to the face already. And then just all out pressure from Navi, not stopping. This time, Anders, they were in position to take advantage of, you know, the opening that they had created, you know, the kills. They were able to just rush straight onto the site. They were already set up to execute onto the A site. Question mark didn't have a chance to catch a breath. It had to just be like run and gun straight up, fight for your life. And this time Navi come out ahead. Wow. No explaining what happened to Dupree there as well. That's gonna drive him crazy.
That is that is some madness in a round like that. But I mean, it's great for Navi. They desperately need it right now. Still in a bad position, but you are right. If they can win this round against Question Mark, I think there's a decent chance it's going to be an eco for the Danes. And then a 9 6 finish is definitely uh, possible here. Oh, indeed. Oh, that smoke. Still very easy for Device in the corner. The pre takes one. It's a quick trade. Edwards already low. Soon going to try and check it here. And Device may be caught sleeping a bit there. Good shot from Sipnix. Guardian going down. It's now a three on three. And the bomb is going back here. Cajun. A nice shot from Flamey. It seems like every time Flamey goes to the Zay bomb site, he's entering. Yeah, he's getting one kill at least. That's so valuable right now. Cajun deciding to take the risk. And while well, he gets punished for it, and now through the murder hole, there's a reason why we call it that. Kerrigan, though, this could be his big moment. First shot lands. He denies that bomb plant, putting some additional pressure here on Flamey. And Flamey's just waiting for the reinforcements to come in. He's waiting for his teammate. Nade is not successful, and Flamey, they're going to try and peek him together. No, the bomb just gets picked up, and now they know that where Kerrigan's playing from, so they can't go for it. Kerrigan, though, with the no-scope deny, and Flamey now in the 1v1, and he's going to do it! Kerrigan, how many times has he come so close to clutching it for his team on this site with the AWP, and it's happened so many times where he misses the final shot to get over the hump and lock it down. Yeah, someone could probably make a whole sort of frag movie, which would be the most depressing frag movie of all time, with every single near clutch for Kerrigan. And that's the story of Question Mark, isn't it? <laughs> right? In some kind totally. of cosmic sense, you know, it's just like Kerrigan has just outlined what happens with Question Mark. They always come so close, but then the final, you know, the final kill, the final round, the final map, it just doesn't go their way. Well, they forced up this round. They feel like 11-4 is a much more desirable score than uh, than a potential 9-6 here. So, um, let's see if it's going to be possible. Man, and they go for the force by as well, question mark. So, they really yeah. are. They're risking it. Device this time, though, he just goes full out aggro, pushes Palace, and he gets into T-spawn. There's a little bit of a gun to work with now. He's got that AK. We saw what he did with it last time. This time, at least, his teammates have got, have got some gear to support him with as well. Only really two people holding the A bomb site right now. With Device on the side itself with an AK. And we got a bit of a taste earlier of how much damage can be done with just a single rifle. And this time he's even taken away from Flamey. It almost be even more Hoo. absurd. Oh, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Oh. <laughs> the one person you don't want to play that game against is Guardian. He's very good at those shots. It's a good flashbang out, though. Actually spots it out, and Soom's just going to be going down. Guardian to fall as well. Edward in some trouble here, trying to find his way out. But that 5-7 going to be just a little bit too much here. Triple kill for Device, double for Cajun B. 10 for the scoreline. <laughs> uh, this should have been Navi's round, shouldn't it? Navi just can't catch a break either. Well, they caught one in the last round versus Kerrigan, but they aren't able to actually go up against the Force by Pistol and win it. What is that? And now, well, Navi, the state of their economy can't be too good. Yeah, Seize just slouched over in his chair right now. He isn't looking too happy. And yeah, wow, okay. AWP on Guardian, the AK on Edward, who's been struggling all map long, and now three pistols. Let's see. They got the D, Xanders. Can Flamey deliver a headshot again? I mean, we said it. Every time he goes A, he seems to find an opening. So maybe it is still true, even with the the Deagle in hand. Seize here in a perfect position to take out the preview. He looks up, but oh, the flashbang in. And the instant headshot there. Guardian without the head armor. Flamey goes down as well to Sipnix. That's two kills for him. And 11-4. I mean, it was a bit of a risk for, for Question Mark to buy in that last round. But now that they did it and they made it work, how could they come back in Arby? Are they? Why are they? I'm wondering. Because it's like Zipnix getting the kills right now has got to be throwing Navi for a loop. The Vice finds Zeus, and it's going to be a moot question regardless. But the fact that Zipnix is over on the A site, Navi have just got to be like, wait a second. Like, what's going on here? He plays B. Why is he over here? And that should have prompted some kind of reaction from Navi, but they're a bit slow on the uptake, and it's just going to be seized now in a 1v4. He's got the op. He's got plenty of time, but the odds are definitely against him here. Especially because Question Mark, you know, they can, they can afford to sack one player just to figure out where this guy's playing from. Yeah. I, Carrigan is far away, but this, the time is the other issue here. He, he, as soon as he fires his rifle, they're going to rotate in and, and things go very bad. It's also risking getting shot on the side of the face. He's not going to check this corner, is he? So walks right in, but behind him is Device. 18 seconds. The bomb will go down, but seized soon to follow. 11-4 finish. First half here for question mark. And a, 
It's just a very, very impressive result. They really, I think, more than anything, mentally, they managed to bring themselves back in the game. They got back into their comfort zone, it seems. Overpass, you know, they, they had that moment. Well, they had a whole half where they seemed to struggle quite a bit. And then Dupree, I mean, they, they really owe, like, a round of beers to Dupree after this. Yeah. Win or lose, you know, he kept them in this fight. He brought them back on Overpass. And now on Mirage, just seems like everybody seems to be having their moments. Device, in particular, with that AK. I mean, now's the time. And they need to just do what they did on Overpass. Yeah. Just go full yellow. I agree. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it, it proved to work, you know. The pace, just speeding everything up a little bit, definitely much better. Here, you know, a lot of people were thinking maybe today was going to be the day that Thorin was wrong. And then... Well, we're not... Here we are, right. I know. Let's not curse it, though. Right? Like, Anders... I don't know. It's Thorin a powerful being, thing. Yeah, it definitely is. And it is a straight up stack. Oh, no. Edward, Edward, you have to get something. You have to get something. You cannot die for free. And that works. Zeus set up. He gets one headshot. Guardian's there to get a headshot on Dupree as well. And it just completely falls apart for question mark. They're getting beaten to a pulp. Finally, Device is able to find something, but it's just not going to be good enough in the end. And Seize denied the knife. Poor guy. There was uh, one grenade that landed there. And then they all bumped into each other, and they all started you know, shooting out the windows and fighting instead. That was scary, but a great uh, comeback into that round there for Navi. Because you're right, as soon as Edward starts missing the shots, you know, you can only do that for so long against the Glock train before you're going to get run over. So, nicely done. There's still a chance. I mean, this could make it a very competitive game again. Even though 11-4 is not exactly great, they win the pistol round if they can bring it back to uh, to seven rounds here against the, the Danish team. Who knows? Well, Guardian got a peek. He saw somebody close to connector and one at top mid. And Navi put three guys over on B site early on here. Very interesting decision on their part. I mean, this is going to turn into a bit of a shooting gallery here. Flamey. They'll find the headshot eventually here. I mean, Zipmix did as well, though. Deagle, and whoa, this has got to get a bit close. Pre-fire is not quite going to get it, and you don't have any bullets in there, Flavie. Bit of a scary moment, but they do manage to stabilize Navi. And, well, now, Anders, now, no bomb plants for e in either round here for question mark. Hmm. No, and a bit of a force up that time. Um, not too much of an effect, really. Smart play from Navi. I would say uh, sort of def defensive and careful. Mm -hmm. That makes it 11-6. And well, so the YOLO didn't work. Yeah, question mark are definitely going to be trying to think over what they need to do here in the next round when they actually have some rifles to play with. Zipmix is going to be going for that utility play. Deep flash onto the site. Full YOLO. Let's go. Out, run, jump, and get that plant. But Flamey's having none of it. Device punishes him in the end. And Guardian with a nice shot. But they will stabilize, and Zeus should be able to upgrade his M4 for another one, or a Guardian. That works fine as well. So, well played there by Navi, keeping their cool. Some quite impressive uh, rounds here. I mean, they don't lose a lot, Navi. They keep that economy high. Question mark, obviously, going to be uh, going to be buying into this round. But I'm mm. curious uh, how much they're going to get out of it. They they maintained uh, a high speed towards the end of the half on overpass. I wonder if they could do the same here on on Mirage. Definitely hope that they will. And look at this positioning from Navi. If question mark try to go for the uh, for the very fast execute onto the A site, which is an option, question mark they've taken up or rather Navi have taken up anti rush positions. Like they've got a man in shadow, they've got one on site. They're going to be within the smoke radius. Edward getting a headshot, Dupree gone as well, and this is falling apart here for question mark. The damage is done at this point. Navi, can they actually? I mean, can they hold? They need to just avoid taking these straight up duels because now they've got question mark and a vice. Flamey was solo already. He ends up going down. Who's doing a lot of damage? So that's still important. Sorry, Edward, very low on health as well. Five health here. Bomb will go down, and now it's a three-on-three three full retake coming in here for the Navi team. Everybody has shown up. Grenade comes out once, but not going to tag anyone. Now we're down to three flashbangs here for question mark to try and buy time. One is out, two left, and they are buying significant time with these. Sipnix is the last one who has any left. Well, there we go. Seize with the play. They have no idea. Guardian somehow survives that hail of bullets. Edward is there to take out the vice. Zipnix, all the pressure on him, and he gets caught by Seized. And Seized going straight for the fuse. They know where Cajun's playing from, and it doesn't matter anymore. Guardian puts an end to that. What a retake from Na'Vi. What an attempt from Cajun, getting both of those kills. Na'Vi peeking him. Na'Vi trying to take those fights, and Cajun punishes him. He shows them, I've got an AK. All yeah. I need is one bullet to the dome. You're dead, and my team is on that site. But Navi keep their cool and execute a near perfect retake. I wonder what would have happened if you had put Sip on either slope or apartments with those two flashes, because it's very hard for him to flash from that position, right? Because if he if he pulls out a flashbang and they sort of come for him, mm -hmm. then he's instantly dead. But if he's playing slope, then he could do it quite safely. He never got to use them, so uh, you know, Navi were allowed to push a little bit uh, in and 
That made the whole difference here. Still, they're gonna go for the buy. They know they did some damage in the last round. Suit tagging up Dupree a little bit here, but Navi getting back into it. Guardian with a great shot there, taking out Kerrigan, trying to sneak his way in for the smoked up window. I mean, look at the look at the gap here. 11-8, this could definitely be brought back. A one for one trade is gonna work out just fine as well. Dupree doing a little bit more damage to Flamey, it looks like. Or rather, that was uh, Mix or Dupree, whatever. Regardless, Seized is just going to have a joy over here taking out the Vice. And, well, man, okay, is this the time, Anders? Is this where Dupree starts to wake up a little bit? Does he decide enough is enough? It's time to go? Two I'm shots for him so far, at least. I think he's going to need to because... Um, they don't have any smokes. Navi are within striking, striking distance here. They don't have any smokes, question mark. Flamey and Guardian are holding this bomb site, and... I don't know how they're going to make it through. It's going to be really tough to try and get in here. I think Sip going to have to take one kill, and then they're going to have to try and sandwich the last player in somehow. A Guardian covering. Uh, this should be possible, especially now that yeah, Zipnix has given away his position. Element of Surprise has lost the tag through the box onto Zipnix, but this is just fine because Guardian is just drawing the attention to himself to allow for Flamey to go for the peak. Great stuff. Great bait and switch there from Navi. Great team play. And Anders are looking so good right now. Question mark. They need to take a cool. They they need to take a breath right now. They need to not force in this round. They just go for a quasi buy with Tech Nines, Kevlar, a couple of nades. Don't commit all of your economy. Make sure you have money for the next round. And they're doing exactly that. So get get that op for Kerrigan. Get that op for device. Get that op for whoever you want. Just make sure you have all the nades you need for a full execute, so you can go back to something that you know works. I mean, right now in the second half, Navi have won five rounds in a row. Yeah. Got to remember that question mark was up to at seven and one at some point in the first half, but. They're to bring it back, Edward <laughs> crisping a couple of Danes up in those apartments. This is brilliant play, and Sue's going to get a headshot as well, all down to Kerrigan, and it's a quad kill for Edward. I mean, it's a, an anti-eco round, but still, they don't lose anybody, and that is important again here. The stack of money growing for Navi. I wonder what happened. We didn't have, like, the first-person perspective there. If it was, like, an HE that got chucked in and tagged everybody down in that Molotov, but it looked like a perfect execute as far as... Um, a perfect rush as far as question mark were concerned. Like, everybody was flashed white. They have great flash nades going into it. But Navi, just a single Molotov, HE combo, and that's pretty much what does it. Uh, that's a good attempt from question mark. But Navi, man, they really are showing some grit here. They're sticking in this match. Oh, quick in the middle. Seuss, did he hear them? Capri only has an idea. They're on either side. Seuss is still alive for just a second. He goes down to Kerrigan. There's a lot of confusion now inside the bomb side. If Flamey dies, there's a lot of trouble. Guardian will take one kill, and he wants to help out Flamey, but it's not going to be successful. Guardian, he gets one more kill. Can he really get the triple? They should be able to zone him out here and get that bomb plant seized. He's coming in from a different angle, but that smoke goes up to cover it. Guardian, can they deal with him? They've got a Molotov, but they don't want to throw it in. That might be a bit of a mistake. It's Sipnix up there. Can he make it out to throw the grenade? The bomb is going to go down, so now they should win this round. Well, there's Guardian. Headshot on Cajun. Now he's going to apply the pressure to the site itself. There's still Zipnix up in apartments. They don't know that, Navi. Or they, they know that that was where he was, but he's definitely changed it up. Big spray from Seized, and now this is possible. Because now Seized can watch Guardian's back. They have a single flash on Guardian. That's not going to be necessary. Instead, it's going to be Guardian. Oh, what is this? Where is Seized? He's got the Molotov still, Zipnix, and that's going to mean a lot of trouble for Seized, obviously. Tab once, he's still defusing. Sipnix! Oh, that's the shot and question mark. They're going to win the round. It's a triple kill. That's a hugely important round. And you think you think if Guardian had held it down the first time, he would have probably made the full defuse, but there was no way he could have known that. Yeah, of course not. What a scary round for both teams. Oh, and this is a replay. This was the roasting. Yeah, HE, Molotov, tagged up, just not going anywhere. But I think the key point there is the fact that Flamey, he needed to trust in Guardian. He needed to, to trust in Guardian to hold his flank. Because the whole point of him sitting there is to watch Palace. And the fact that Zipnix is able to get out there, pressure Guardian off of Tetris, they lose control when Flamey dies. If he just sits there and focuses on Palace, gets that kill on Zipnix, there's no way question mark make it onto that site. Because then you have that, that crossfire established between him and Guardian on Tetris. So a little bit of a detail there. But that is, that is a little bit of a brutal uh, turn of events. Navi, they still got it, though, and they are. Oh, look at this. Edward, perfect timing, and he doesn't get a second one. Instead, it's Cajun to bring it back, and we're into a four-on-four. Four. That looked a little bit awkward for a moment, but um, seem to have reset themselves on the Navi side. They must win this round. Can't let the Danes get back into it. Device playing close to the edge of the smoke here, using it as a one-way. 
So if anybody peeks here, this could get very tricky. He's up on the box now again. Flamey and Sousa here. Can they actually catch him? Yeah, Flamey with just a pixel at the edge of that box. Goes back for more, but he goes down to Cajun, who picks up a second kill. And we're back in a three on three. The bomb is being brought over at the very same time that Cease is making his way into underpass Cajun. Probably not going to survive this, but the question is his team. Are they going to read this? Yeah, I think they're realizing it. He's going to hear the steps. Smart. Yep, seized. He hears the steps now. Confirmation. They he knows. Him. And yeah, okay, Zipnik stops just as he was about to cross the line. I thought he was going to walk right in there for free. Instead, now he knows, he realizes the risk that there is a backstab possible. Nice flash in by Seize, but Zipnik makes it out. And now it gets a little bit tricky here. Guardian, can he actually find the kill on the man on the site? Oh, Garrick, he doesn't win the fight. And Zip, well, he's got the Molotov here, but Guardian, if he just holds it down, he won't die. He can keep defusing. It's not going to kill him. And there it is. Well, it might kill him afterwards, but that's worth it. So smart heads up play. Good game knowledge from Guardian. If you're already tapped on the bomb, you won't die from, from the defuse. So Sip would have had to put that on beforehand. But if he does that, they still they can let it burn and still defuse the bomb. So it's kind of a lose-lose anyway. Tactical pause being brought in here by question mark. Scoreline 12-11. This, this, is, this is the game we were hoping for. Yeah, this is the, the back and forth match. Tooth and nail. They're both very good on this map. It's exactly what we were hoping for. Because, you know, you just need to have that confidence. Both of these teams need to find it. And they're, perf they're capable of great things on this map. And we're seeing that now. I mean, Guardian's coming alive a little bit, but it is pretty even across the board right now for Navi. 17, 17, 19, right? You know, everybody everybody getting some frags, doing some work. It is good to see that Navi are still able to put up a fight when it just looked like, question mark, we're about to roll all over them. I mean, 7-1 in the beginning, and it even got a little bit, it got to even worse than that for a while. Yeah. Such yeah. a huge start here. That's going to be uh, so frustrating for Zipnix. But Guardian, not hesitating, that's the main thing. He, but the thing is, like with the Molotov, I wonder if you would have had the time regardless, you know, to just wait out the Molotov and go for the no, defuse no, I, after he, it. No, no, he would have had. He would have had time regardless. No. But, I mean, yeah. this, is the, this is the better play, basically. Yeah, just get the job done right off the bat. Zip is counting on that Molotov but to it's keep one that of those, bomb safe. It's one of those things. Someone, someone did a video researching it, uh, and I'm not sure if, like, I think even, like, three clicks Philip followed up on it at some point. Uh, there are a couple of people anyway put out some videos explaining exactly how it works, like when can you still defuse and when can't you. Um, and when you have the armor and when you have when you have 100 health, if, if you've tapped it, just hold it in. Mm -hmm. um, just because you're going you're gonna to make it. Well, there you guys go. You have it now, and well... Yeah, but I, th I think up until like a couple of months ago, not everyone was caught up to that fact, I think. So I think uh, I think actually if this had been played like, you know, three months ago or something like that, prop it could have been the Guardian wouldn't have been quite aware and it could have been a little bit different. Well, this is question mark's answer. After the tactical pause, they're going straight into it. And well, there is a, a change here as far as the setup is concerned. Great smokes going out onto the site. This is standard stuff. But the man in sandwich is going to be key. And Guardian and Flavy just racking up kills. Somebody get rid of them. Finally, Zipnik steps in, but the damage is done. Zipnik's last man alive here with two HP. He could get a gun. Yeah, <laughs> what a shot on a Guardian. I mean, the damage is being done, certainly, but he shouldn't be able to leave out this round. I mean, he's got two health left. And they have plenty of grenades and everything else as well. Sitnik shows down. Great hold there from Navi. I mean, it, in initially, Flamey and Guardian, three kills before that something is finally answered there. So a very good job that ties the scoreline at 12-12. They do not get the bomb plant. And they do a heck of a lot of damage, which is, which is great. But it's not enough right now. They got to do more. Mm -hmm. well, what is this going on here? Guardian mm -hmm. without the AWP, but um, then again, they don't have anything to, to do to really punish that. Just pistols. Right, so it is the hard eco situation in Zeus. Well, yeah, basically going according to plan. They dropped the bomb in mid as well, so this is pretty much going to be a wash here for question mark. <laughs> Unless somebody donates themselves, basically. We had a little bit of a screenshot moment there. And we're just getting a little bit too uh, too hungry for the frags. Yeah. Not the end of the world, I suppose. If Seas could get a kill with the MP9, that wouldn't be bad. Unfortunately, he gets nothing out of that investment, so just drop that. 
recover Edwards M M4, actually. That yeah. would be all right. So if you manage to get that, that's actually not too bad for him. Yeah, I was just wondering about that, but um, I guess we'll find out. 13-12. Yeah. Navi yeah, with a one-round <laughs> lead. Just think about this for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. 7-1. At some point in the first half, question mark, utterly wrecking Na'Vi. Somehow they don't tilt, somehow they get back in the game. They have an 11-4 finish and now they're up around 13-12. This is this is a remarkable performance uh, from, from Na'Vi. Some real mental strength being shown. They, they're a team themselves that have been known to be you know, a little bit emotional, a little bit too much sort of infighting and everything like that. They seem rock solid at the moment. Whoa, 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 Cajun. Where's he taking that damage from? Molotov, clearly. Guardian is there to take him out, and that's up in the B apartments. So man advantage now for Na'Vi. Two smokes, two flashes, handful of rifles, and a bunch of bullets here. That's all question mark have to work with. He's gonna have to come up with a big play, Ooh. such as that device. He survives, he takes out Edward, but he's stuck in a corner. Zeus can block him in here, unless Dupree is there to strike back, and Zeus realizing this, decides to back out, play it safe. He really wanted that Zeus, and he could have maybe even had it, but it would have been a very dangerous play. Now we're down to 40 seconds, and everybody's rotating out of B except for Seized. That might be a critical mistake here for Na'Vi. Jumping once, not seeing anyone. Jumping again. Did he see them through the smoke? Yeah, he did. Look at the rotation coming in. 30 seconds here. And question mark, they got to move. They're way too slow right now. Every second is buying time for Na'Vi to get more members in the bomb site. Mid-air headshot. Zipmix is going to be gone. Seized looking for more. It's a second headshot. And he goes for the spray. It's going to be the quad kill here. Seized. Wrecking question mark. And Na'Vi now up to 14 rounds. What a hold. And what a great play. Yeah, what fantastic teamwork there. Just managing to lock off that choke point. That's what it's all about. It's keeping your cool, not just spraying away your entire mag and you know, just over committing to the fight. They actually managed to slow things down just enough. And well, we're going live with this round, so let's not miss it. This is a key one right here. And question mark, they're aiming for overtime. They've invest a little bit in this round. They know that they need to have everything they can possibly work with in the next one. They're not just going to go for the straight Tech 9 armor for Spy and take that risk. They're going up against a fully bought up Navi, though. Navi have everything they need to end it right here. It's whether they're going to have the sang the, the the cool, keep their heads cool, and just end this map. And well, there we go. Guardian, nice shot to start it. Nice shot to start it off. Well, they did a little bit of damage, but uh, <laughs> I mean, Sipnix trying to morse with the Deagle from up there, and he got a reply at the Ooh. end. There's one, too. Nice shot from Dupree. Good double kill as well, but fact is, they're fighting to stay in the tournament right now. Two more rounds for Na'Vi. Jumping his Guardian, he's down to one health, but somehow still alive. <laughs> Grenade, utterly wrecking Carrigan. He's trying to sneak through. I think he might have seen that, but as he knows as soon as he fires, he's going to be gone. And there's Edward with the kill, triple for him. And Na'Vi, match and map point for them. Did I headshot your Guardian? And now there's even an auto sniper on Flamey. Things have gone sick. from bad to worse. This shot here, though. Super sick positioning. Oh, I wish we could have seen the first one from Seized. It yeah. looked like Sip didn't have head armor. Ah. Oh. He sort of went down very quick. Ah, that was already damaged. Monitor issue for um, for Flamey or somebody else, I think, and uh, we should be good to go with the game. Uh, and he said, oh, they already, did they already unpause? All oh, right, yeah, no problem. Uh, the Flamey is nuts, though. It's like, why change up what's working? I guess go for the Scar 20 because you have the money. But, you know, it's worked so well with the M4. Do you really want to, like, in the round to end it all, you know, do you really want to be, uh, you know, changing anything, the yeah. working formula? I say go for it. You say, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, the smoke. He messed up the smoke, and that just completely backfires. Cajun, he expects to jump across for free, and instead he gets legged. Well, killed. Not the best start here. Question mark, fighting for overtime with a man down. And a Na'Vi team that looks worthy of a semi-final right now. And maybe even more than that. If they can play with this focus tomorrow, I'd be very impressed as well. Edward goes down. One of the top fraggers was seized at the bomb site. Only going to get the one in. And now the Danes, they have it. The bomb plant at least. Three on three. Guardian trying to rotate into position here with AWP. Hoping he can catch somebody who's going to be just a little bit out of... Uh, 
out of position. Sip could have almost been it. You've got to be careful with that. They do have kits and some grenades, but look how far away Zeus is. He's only now coming into Catwalk, so this is going to be a bit of an issue. They might run out of time for this particular defuse. Guardian sneaking his way up behind. Device here holding line with the AK, and they line up, and Device loves that. He's done it once, and he does it again, and now Zeus, well, going to make his way out, so... The battle continues, Semla. <laughs> it's the issue with that SCAR-20. You just you, It's not ideal. You have an AWP and a SCAR-20 to go into a retake. Even man as well. It's just not good enough. Zeus kind of misses his chance. Oh, double. One man goes up with the bomb and even makes that out of there with an AWP save. Great play there from Zeus in the end. Just, just buying enough time for the bomb to do the work for him. 10,000 on Seized, which, which means he could... He really could drop for, a, for well. a teammate later on as well. That could be interesting. Well, really, like, what is this? You know, this is this is elementary, right? You, they're both. What's the communication going on there between Guardian and Flame? You know, they stack up, going around a, an angle like that when you know that there's got to be a terrorist back there. Interesting decision. It's like, if we choreograph our movement, maybe he'll think there's only one and stop shooting. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could work. I mean, it's not that far fetched. Right. Well, Flamey, I mean, but yeah, Flamey just goes back for this card for again. Expecting the A execute. I think that's what he's banking on here. He just wants to be able to sit in CT, hold down mouse one, and just spray bullets through into Tetris. But that's not the case. Question mark. They take over mid once again. They were successful last time putting a man into ladder room. Guardian, he's going to be a little at risk, but the, the smoke gets refreshed, so it's not the end of the world for him. Cajun, right at the edge here. Guardian, I don't think his gun barrel is showing, so Cajun can't exactly know this. Oh, ah. there's, the, there's the sign. He might realize putting some shots through and Guardian does drop a little bit. Not going to be the kill though, but still. Whoa, the double nade on the cage and get dunked. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was painful. Zipmix with the jump in though, gets some information. Or Zipmix. See oh, this Karagoon went down. I'm getting a bad feeling about this one somewhere. I think Navi. They might have what it takes this round. Cajun is very nearly dead as well. Zeus missing a couple of shots here, but Sip and Dupri are down as well. And now it's all up to Device. He gets a headshot. Another three to go with 30 seconds left, and he does go down. Flamey with the last kill. Navi make it to the semifinals, taking out question mark. What a comeback from an absolutely dreadful start on this map. What an, yeah, what a match. What we were hoping for, Anders. Tooth and nail. Yeah. Both of the teams brought what they could to it. And this time it's Navi who come out ahead. And just, uh, just like the Kerrigan clutches, so close yet so far. On the last hurdle, they just needed a couple of rounds. They've crushed them in the first half and then can't seal the deal in the second. Question mark are going to be kicking themselves. Yeah, there's a lot to analyze. I mean, with a start like that, you, you want to finish strong. You don't want to end up uh, losing with, uh, with that kind of a scoreline either. So um, I don't know. Interesting, interesting stuff, and I hope we can get the uh, the panelists on. I think we might be going into an interview with uh, with Smix on stage first with Guardian there, so we'll let them take it over from here. So guys, uh, I think that uh, it's possible to speak Russian a little. Друзья, это была невероятная игра. Нави проходят дальше. Отлично просто. Поздравляем их с продолжением. И, собственно, с классной атакой и защитой на этой карте. Это было очень круто. And now I will speak English again, guys. I, th I, hope, I hope that you saw it in your eyes because it was an incredible game. And maybe if you sometimes thinking about that... Uh, they will win, or another team will win by, I, I want to say that always will win the better team. And my congrats to Team Navi and Smix make this interview for us, please. First of all, thank you very much, Stefan, and congratulations, Guardian. What an exciting series to wrap up the day here. Uh, it's been actually really loud in here, despite the fact that all the fans had to leave the, uh, the arena because of the curfew. But first of all, let's talk about the maps themselves. You guys had a very, very convincing win on Dust2. And then on Overpass, it actually started off decently for you guys. You were able to get quite a few maps on your T side, and yet it still slipped away from you guys. So what do you think went wrong on that map? Uh, well, we started to argue with each other and flaming between each other, losing stupid rounds and dying one by one. So some players started to argue between each other, and yeah, the mental state wasn't that good as in the first map. 
So yeah, we just gave it with that map and yeah. Then if the mental state wasn't good on that map, in the third map, Elon Mirage, you guys actually were down 11-4, but and yet you were able to come back and win the whole map. So what changed in the third map? Because obviously it worked out for you guys. Uh, well, we started pre pretty badly on the side, but when we changed sides, it was like, okay, this rewinds something. It was the three mag winter, the second major, that we came back from 12-0. So we just said that, of course, we can do it because we have done it before. So yeah, we just had to play like a team, and yeah, we did. And now I was reading an interview that Zeus did yesterday or the, a few days ago, and uh, he was talking about how when you guys first played here on the first day, you guys lost the maps that you did because eventually you guys got very tired. And today has been a really long day for you guys. Too. It's already over midnight here, and yet you were able to keep, come together as a team. So what do you think it was that helped you guys able to focus and take the map against TQM? Uh, well, we wanted to play uh, next day so we can show our best game to the fans. Because this is kind of our home so soil as well as other CIS countries. So we had that in our minds that we have to go to the next game. And yeah, that, that was something we wanted to do. Yeah, and I know that right now the arena is empty. But I'm curious, how much more does it mean to you? As you just mentioned, you guys are the lone CIS uh, team representative here. And the arena was actually quite full today. Already 8,000 people showed up. And it's only going to be more people showing up tomorrow and the day afterwards. So. How much more does it mean to you to do well here at this tournament? Uh, it means a lot because everyone is cheering for us and making them happy and happy faces to, to the fans. That's something we care about, not only about the game. So for us, it's like a sixth player and it, it gives us more energy. All right, and last but not least, your next opponent in the semifinals is going to be Envious. And actually, the last two times you guys played Envious, it was uh, at the ESL ESCA Season 2 finals. You beat them 2-0. And then before that, it was actually for this qualifier, the European qualifier for Star Series, you beat them 2-1. So because of that, do you feel a little bit confident? Or did you guys watch the Envious games uh, at this tournament at all? They seem like a new team with MBK in game leading. Uh, yeah, we did. But playing Envious is a uh, good opponent for us. Because we are like not scared and our mental focus is on high level against them. I don't know why, but it's kind of different playing Fnatic and Envious, and Envious is a very good opponent for us. So I think we can do good and hopefully we will win. All right. Well, thank you very much, Guardian, and congratulations on moving on to the semifinals. And of course, we will be back tomorrow with Luminosity versus Fnatic with our first semifinal match. So don't go anywhere. We're going to wrap up the night with Sadakist. E-gaming